Hey guys, I want to talk about a documentation by Tom Pepe who wrote down seven easy steps to onboard people to Chia. And it doesn't use any centralized exchanges and it doesn't use the Chia official wallet. It's going to use the Gobi wallet, which is just a Chrome extension. So it's going to be really fast. And instead of a centralized exchange, they just use change now. What's great about this onboarding process is it revolves around getting started, swapping your coins in, and then buying an NFT with the Tang Bear and going on to the Tang, Bear, Ta the Tang Gang Discord and getting it verified. And I think that's a very important part of the uh, onboarding process to belong to a community, especially uh, the Tang Gang who are very welcoming and very uh, helpful in uh, pushing out your ideas and getting you involved like me. So uh, how many, I wonder how many Tang Bears he owns. That's the big question of the day. So I took uh, Tom Pepe's documentation and I broke it down into his seven easy steps and I'll try to go through them and uh, I'll probably make a few mistakes and a lot of it won't be exactly live, but I'll try the best as I can to get through most of it. But uh, step one is download and install the Gobi wallet from uh, gobi.app. I have a demo Windows 10 uh, VM. So I'm just going to use this just for the sake of downloading and installing the Gobi wallet. So I'm at a uh, gobi.app. You can see that uh, it's available for Chrome, Brave. These are dimmed out. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's coming. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure you can uh, install it for Firewall and Edge. But I'm going to click on Brave. That's my preferred browser. It's going to take you to the official Chrome store. You just have to click Add to Brave. Add extension. Look at the top right corner. Gobi has been added. As soon as you click this, you look away, it disappears. So my preference is to click on the extensions and pin it. I'm going to see how far I can get in the setting it up because uh, I don't, I already have the Gobi wallet and I just want to go through the simplicity of installing this wallet. So you click on get started. They ask you for a password. Repeat. You notice that it says Ledger is coming soon, which is going to be, uh, I think a lot of people are looking forward to that. Uh, create a new address. That's what I'm going to do for this demonstration. Um, but if you already have a wallet and you want to uh, import it, you can uh, click the third option there. So I'm going to create a new wallet. It's going to give me 12 words. Or you can select 24. Best practices is to write it down on a piece of paper and then write it down on another separate sheet of paper and then separate those two in two different locations. You can, you can choose the 12 or the 24. Um, I prefer the 24 and I don't have any reasons why it's more work. I don't suggest copying this, but this is just for demo. And you see another reason why you shouldn't is because you're recording a video 
and it pops up my MetaMask. Uh, I met I I my MetaMask uh, mnemonic phrase, but this was all for this was also for a demo, so you might not get anything out of this one. And I might not leave anything in there this time. Okay, um, so I'm going to click on next. It says uh, select a mnemon mnemonics word in order. So we're going to go with uh, Unfortunately, it, uh, when I get off it, it changes. So we're going to go with please select the mnemonic words in order. Okay, so I, I had to clear what I did before and we're just going to go shoulder, pink, young, fashion, and hit a pause it, finish the rest, down to my last two, garden, and summer, and next. And they've uh, given me my, and instantly I've got my, my, my Chia address. Okay, so that's it for step number one. And I'm going to work on step number two now. Hey guys, so we're doing step number two, and that's to exchange your tokens to XCH using change now. So I guess when we're onboarding people and they're not using a centralized exchange, we can possibly assume many of them will already have tokens under other ecosystems. So change now. There are some options to use credit cards. But uh, if you have tokens on other, other blockchains, you can just use change now and we can swap it to Chia. So I'm not actually going to do swap but I am gonna go through almost the entire process so here here it is a uh, change now dot io I downloaded a demo for metamask I think it's the uh, most popular wallet so we can select Chia, and we can uh, swap it from Bitcoin to Chia, or Pulse Chain to Chia, and that's why I downloaded the uh, MetaMask because I know there's a lot of there's, there's this dynamic relationship between a uh, Pulse Coin and uh, the Chia community. I don't have any pulse coins, but I am just going to go through this. If I click on exchange, it'll take me to the uh, transaction page. All you have to do is put your Chia address here. Copy. paste. I didn't read and I still agree to the change now terms of use privacy confirm. And then it just says please send the funds you would like to exchange. So we selected pulse and we just have to go to our MetaMask. Send the pulse to this address 
and it's waiting for a deposit, it'll confirm it, it'll exchange it, it'll send it to you, and you'll get this this menu chia. And it even and it shows you your your wallet that you will receive it in, the one that you entered. And if you want a status on it, you can add your email. Personally, I don't add my email to these swaps. Um, unless I'm using a fake email address. There is a, one other thing you can do on here, which is you can sign up. I think they give you some kind of rebate or some kind of bonus for using it. But, but that's it. Um, I'm not going to do a real transaction, but we've went through the whole process and anybody who follows this, you can, uh, you just have to wait for your Chia and your Gobi wallet. Okay. That's it for step number two. I'm going to take a look at step number three and I'll be right back. Hey guys. So I looked at step three and it's using your Gobi wallet via Tang Bear. So we'll have to go to Mint Garden and do that. Okay. So I'm on Mint Garden and I'm just going to type Tang Bear. And here's Tang Bears on Chia. So for this demo, I'm not going to buy another Tang Bear. I did do a video on buying a Tang Bear, I think last month. But I am going to go through the process. So if you click on this one, you can see that there's a Gobi icon. So I found this interesting that there's a Gobi icon here. I think it's because it sees it from the extension and I could be wrong, but, uh, what I did was I went into uh, incognito or private mode with the same link and it doesn't show up because the extensions are not active in incognito mode. So my thinking is because I have the extension and I haven't, ins I haven't connected it yet. But it shows up. So I'm just going to click on this. It says approve the connection. This app would like to view your wallet balance and activities and request approval for transaction. I'm not going to buy it, but I am going to approve it. And look at that. It's pretty nice. It says it's going to cost you 0.66 Chia. There should be a, a royalty someplace that might cost a little bit more. That's right, there's a 10% royalty. The fees are long, medium, short. Um, my preference is to use 0 0.001. Okay, so that's interesting. So uh, you can select one of these. But uh, I prefer custom, but you can't edit it. Yes, you can. Okay. I think I guess the Gobi wallet has really improved. And then you would just click on sign. Actually, this represents 0 0.001 by itself, and then you would click on sign. 
and the tag bear will show up in your NFTs. And there's a great, you just have to toggle this. It's really nice because you can just toggle here and you can see the uh, NFTs on this address. Okay, that's it for step number three. I'm going to take a look at step number four and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so we're going to do step number four and it's to connect your Gobi wallet to Mint Garden. And this one's a little bit interesting because you go to Mint Garden and you're going to ask the question, where is the wallet link? So here I am at Mint Garden. It doesn't matter what I click, I can't find the wallet link. You go all the way to the bottom, no wallet link. But Tom Pepe's documentation was really good. He left us the link. You'd have to, it looks like we have to just type it in mintgarden.io slash wallet. So slash wallet. And here we go. Um, it says connected, but it shouldn't be. I'm going to disconnect it. So it's possible that it got connected because when I was buying the Tang Bear, uh, I, I, I did an approval for Mint Garden, and I think that's why it got connected. So maybe we don't even have to get to this page at, at this time. But in case it's not connected, you just have to click on Connect. And it'll take you back to the same page when we bought the Tang Bear. View your wallet, request approve for transaction. You just click on approve and it'll say connected. It sees all your NFTs. So just remember, you got to go to uh, mintgarden.io slash wallet. There's no, it appears that there's no link on the front page in case your wallet's not connected or it got disconnected. And that's it for step number four. I'll take a look at step number five and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so step number five is create a profile. So we will go back to uh, minkgarden.io slash wallet. And I find something interesting that I want to share. So here I am at Mint Garden. I already created an account and I already have a profile here. I'm going to log out. So I'm going to go to minkgarden.io slash wallet. And I have a new profile section over here. So I'm not sure what the difference between the two profiles are, but we're going to create a profile. Would you like to create a new profile? Estimated wallet balance change. And they're going to give us the DID. And that's great because uh, in my one of my previous videos, the DID was I used the official Chia wallet to uh, send the command, and then I had to get it approved, 
it sent me back a result. I had to paste it. So it's a little bit harder. So for onboarding people to Chia, this is much easier. I'm going to click on sign. I don't know how long this takes, so I'll just pause it. Okay, I think it took about 20 seconds. The transaction is confirmed. And I didn't have to go through the official Chia wallet and have any difficulty with uh, creating, locating the DID. Or I, I think uh, the process was I have to uh, create a profile. It gives me a DID, send the DID with the transaction, get the result come back to Mint Garden and paste it. And so this was just a one click and this is definitely the way to uh, um, make things a lot easier. So uh, that was step five. It was, Gobi made it so simple that uh, I think this section of the video is just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna look at step six and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so step six is move your NFT, or in this case, the Tang Bear, to your profile. So I'm at Mint Garden. You see a little bit of difference here is uh, we don't get all the details in the Gobi wallet. But when you go to Mint Garden, click on your your NFTs. You see that I have a Tang Bear. It's assigned to my profile here. So I have a I have one that I have not assigned. So I'm just going to you you need to do this for your Tang Bear, but I'm going to move this to my profile, and I'm going to send it to this DID right here. Because I don't have any other option. So I don't have an option to use a custom fee. So I'm just going to assume that I can click on sign. While we're waiting for this, I move. I created this profile in my official uh, Chia wallet. So I'm working on the Gobi one. It can see all my NFTs, but maybe I don't have the, uh, maybe it can only uh, use the profile that I created on here. So we're just waiting to see, not assigned to a profile, to go to the, uh, the profile that was just um, moved to. Okay, so uh, this is the profile that we created. We moved it to that profile here. And I think, uh, in step seven later, we're going to create a uh, upload a picture profile. But we have this where we want it. And uh, that's it for this section. And step seven, that's when we're going to verify our Tang Bear in the Discord. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the process is you just go to the Discord. You uh, go to the Verify Gang text channel. You paste your DID and you paste your Chia address. So I'm going to go to my uh, 
my Gobi wallet profile. I see my DID here. I'm not sure how to copy it. Okay. So I just have to click on the uh, my profile. Is this the copy? Okay. So you go to Verify Gang. And I won't be doing a verification because my Tang Bear is already verified. But uh, I showed you how to get the DID. You would just paste your DID. And then uh, after that, you would grab your Chia address, go back and paste that, and then you'll get a message that your uh, Tang Bear is verified. So, um, sorry I couldn't do everything live, but I don't always have the resources. Um, there is one section that Tom, Petty, that Tom Pepe added. It says, uh, before you go, add your photo to the profile and get a share link. So uh, come back to the Gobi wallet. I kept clicking this and you can't do anything. So you do have to click the, uh, the edit button. When you see the stars for premium users, I'm going to upload a photo. That will be my logo for here. Put a name, Gobi is awesome. Biography. This is this is my demo of the best way to onboard people to achieve. Use Gobi. Click on save. It's going to verify. And you see now with, uh, when you look at your NFTs now, you have your logo, you have your name, Gobi is awesome. And that's it for uh, step seven, uh, Tom Pepe's uh, documentation. Uh, find it quite amazing that uh, he was able to uh, make this documentation to find easier ways to onboard people to Chia. And I hope this video helps. Uh, thanks, guys. And even though that's the end of the video, I might add something on the end. So if you're still here, great. If not, thank you, and I'll see you the next one. I just... Uh, wanted to continue making this last part of the video. Um, the Gobi wallet minting process is just extremely easy. You don't have to use the Mint Garden Studio. You just click on Mint, grab your DID. I created a collection. I'll fill in the name and description. Where's the wallet link? Can't find the Gobi wallet link on the main garden. Royalty percentage. Drag and drop. I don't see 
where to put a price. We can mint it. Goes to the Chrome extension. I use custom 0 0.001. I think it took less than a minute. It's pretty quick. I just noticed that I didn't use 0 0.001 GF for the fee, so it might take a little while. Curious if I can cancel the offer. So we just have to uh, pay a fee to cancel the offer. My experience is that the transaction will go through anyway. But for the sake of science, let's cancel it. Um, do we need to put 0 0.001 again? I'm not worried about the cost of them, but uh, let's try. So possibly to create the offer of 0 0.001 to cancel it 0 0.001. Oh, this is great. So the uh, Offer did get cancelled, but I can try it again. But I'll stop the video so you don't have to go through this. Okay, so I uploaded the uh, NFT. We can click Upload Offer. Create it with Gobi. I think we can just use short for this one. And there we go. I wanted to show you something, uh, well, expected, but this was the DID because I'm using the same wallet for the Gobi as my official Chia wallet. Um, so the DID I created on Gobi, it showed up in my official wallet. So so now I can uh, so I can see all my DIDs in my official wallet as well. Okay so thanks everyone and I'm gonna put these videos together into one big one and post them on YouTube and I'll see you in the next one.